Let me start this off by introducing allegory. Allegory is a literary tool or device that incorporates symbolism into a story or a narrative. It is the expression of abstract ideas through terms of characters or events through either literary, visual, or musical art forms. Orwell's Animal Farm serves as an allegory because it portrays the tale of Russia and the rise and consolidation of communism and its prominent figures through the tale of an animal rebellion on the farm. We can easily observe that the farm is run by one man, Mr. Jones. This is how farms are commonly run, with a superior human controlling the affairs of each and every animal on the farm. This is rep representative of how, before the revolution, the feudalist system was a concrete practice for many generations of Russian citizens as well as all of Europe. However, when Mr. Jones is overthrown and run out of his property at the Battle of the Cowshed, this becomes symbolic of how the traditional system that had been utilized in order to maintain Russian political affair in the past was violently abolished by revolutionists by revolutionists who are just as livid towards the government as the farm animals were towards humanity, and for the same reason. Finally, when feudalism was definitely outrun, the people, just like the animals, set up a system of government that stressed that all animals are equal. However, in both cases, those in power, Stalin and Napoleon, soon began to abuse the rule and harness their superior, author superior authority in order to benef benefit themselves rather than the society. In doing so, those in power ended up breaching the original commandments, but they still forced those whom they ruled to uphold the standard, which stressed the equality of all. This in turn made it a lot easier for the ruler to rule, due to the fact that they didn't need to deal with division of power. Orwell uses the tale of the animal rebellion, as well as the establishment of Animal Farm, to convey a message, instructing the readers to heed to the consequences of any form of dictatorship. By utilizing the stories of characters such as Napoleon, Squealer, Boxer, Clover, and all of the other animals within this tale, Orwell was able to caution his readers against the prospect of a ruler being allowed too much power and the abuse of it. Napoleon showed us how dangerous a concentration of authority can be. Through Squealer, it became evident how susceptible to propaganda the population can be. And we are able to sympathize with the adamant spirit of Boxer who, despite not being able to exhibit any true intelligence, has dedicated all of his physical assets to the benefit of Animal Farm. By doing this, or will help the readers to understand the consequences of a tyrannical tyrannical political structure as well as a caution against the abuse of power and how it affects the general population. Orwell's retelling of the rise of communism is much different from co common retellings that you would find in textbooks. Orwell used the events of a fictional farm in order to create the re to recreate the historical events which took place in Russia during the rise and the era of communism. This allowed the reader to definitely grasp his warning against political tyranny. He really illustrated the event using a basic setting such as a farm. And by comparing them to the events which transpired during the Soviet era, Orwell's, Orwell was able to portray his message through a simple story. He was able to minimize the complexity of the situation which took place during Russia's Soviet era and simplified the entire period down into a basic story by which the reader is able to discern the message of easily. You are able to tell that the book is based upon a moral or a message rather than history due to the fact that it does not accur accurately represent the characters who shaped the history of Russia. Of course, Stalin wasn't a pig. Marx was not an old pig either. But the original message of the consequences of tyranny still remain despite whether or not you want to read an official retelling of the Russian revolutions or if you want to read Animal Farm. Orwell is rhetorically successful because he concludes his book with the horrific inability of the animals to discern the pigs from the humans. Throughout the book, he continuously foreshadowed the pigs' inevitable path towards human influence. Orwell is trying to help the audience see the leader's abuse of power affects the people negatively. In the book, Napoleon continued to abuse his powers, and the validity of his decisions 
were all visible to the reader even if it had passed over the heads of the fictional animals. Through this, the reader can relate it to what may happen to a society if a corrupt leader comes into a position of power.